Tomorrow, the Supreme Court of Canada is set to hear a case that pits a Quebec comedian against the subject of one of his jokes. Stand-up comic Mike Ward made fun of a boy who lives with a rare genetic disorder. His family then filed a complaint with the Human Rights Tribunal and it ruled against Ward. He's fought that ruling all the way to the highest court in the country. Mike Armstrong has a look at the arguments and what's at stake. This is comic Mike Ward telling the joke that landed him in court. He told it during shows between 2010 and 2013. It was about a boy with a disfigurement, Jeremy Gabriel singing for the Pope, supposedly because he was terminally ill, and then Ward basically being disappointed because he didn't die. Now, Gabriel has Treacher-Collins syndrome. It's a genetic disorder that can cause deformities. In 2012, Gabriel and his parents filed a complaint with the Quebec Human Rights Commission and eventually the Human Rights Tribunal and won. Ward was ordered to pay $35,000 in damages to Gabriel and $7,000 to his parents. It found the comments discriminatory and that they infringed on Gabriel's right to equality. In 2019, Ward fought the judgment in appeals court. It threw out the $7,000 for the parents, but upheld the $35,000 in damages for Gabriel. There was a lack of judgment in his in his jokes. And Gabriel has argued Ward's jokes affected him, made his life more difficult than it already was. He was only 13 at the time and struggling with his challenges. He even considered suicide. So what I do is dark humor. Like right. I'm not I'm not Ray Romano, right? Ward so, talked about the judgment on the Joe Rogan joke, podcast, uh, saying the courts uh, shouldn't be judging uh, what's funny uh, and what's not. But I was making fun of the fact that he had become famous because everyone thought he was dying and then he didn't die. Which is a you know a good, yeah, it's good a, for him. It's a dark joke. That's yeah. all it is. There has been support for Ward from other comics. The idea of courts ruling on comedy, some say, could put a chill on all artists. Now, what's going to happen is because of this precedent, a lot of comedians are going to be, and a lot of TV shows and a lot of film uh, writers are going to say, "Well, I'm not sure I can say this anymore." Now, neither side has been willing to back down throughout this entire ordeal. It will be heard by the Supreme Court Monday, having now stretched close to a decade since it started. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal.